Cowpea is an important food legume consumed all over Nigeria, West Africa, and indeed for most part of Africa and the tropical warm tropics in the world. Cowpea is considered the most important food grain legume in the dry savannas of tropical Africa, where it has grown on more than 12.5 million hectares of land. It is rich in quality protein and has energy content almost equivalent to that of cereal grains. It is a good source of quality fodder for livestock and provides cash income. Nearly 200 million people in Africa consume the crop. However important it is, its production is associated with constraints. The most important constraint in cowpea production is an insect called the legume pod borer, otherwise known as maruka pod borer. Many biotech and biotech factors greatly reduce cowpea productivity in traditional African famine systems. Among this constraint is the pot borer, Maruka vitrata, which perennially damages cowpea pods and farmers field. Maruka is a terrible insect that affects uh, cowpea production. It reduces uh, productivity by about 80% by the farmers. And so it is reducing this yield and it's causing the farmers to spray a whole lot, uh, sometimes six times in a season, to try and control this insect. And even that has not been effective for them. The yields are low and uh, they are spending a whole lot of money in trying to control the insect. This insect specifically feeds on the reproductive parts of cowpea, meaning the flower buds the flowers and also it obliterates a young developing pots thereby reducing the quality of the grain to be harvested. Generally under very high infestation of maruka yield loss being recorded by farmers range to up to around between 70 to 80 percent. This insect is so important in reducing the yield on, on the farm for cowpea producers, such that in the last 15 years, scientists gathered all over the world to think of how best co to control it. Among the control options were genetic improvement and also use of chemical insecticides. We all know chemical insecticides are not only expensive and unaffordable, therefore, to many of our farmers, but it is also unsafe to human health and the environment. That leaves the option of genetic improvement to the control of this insect on cowpea. However, conventional genetic improvement was also found to be almost impossible because there is no existing natural source of resistance within the cowpea family. Usually to develop genetically improved varieties, plant breeders like myself use a known source of resistance amongst the strains of a crop and then use that as a base to develop an improved variety. In the case of Maruka in cowpea, there is no single strain of cowpea that possesses this resistance. So the only option now that is left is to exploit the modern techniques of modern biotechnology to insert the gene of resistance into these cowpeas. This has been done about nine years ago, and the genes have been inserted into cowpea. Uh, these are genes that are popularly grown or inserted into other crops like maize, garden egg, and so on and so forth. The improved varieties developed in maize and garden egg are being consumed all over the world today. Having borrowed the same technique, we inserted this gene into cowpea. From the laboratory, tests were carried out. In order to carry out this test effectively and confirm the resistance holds 
in these new strains of improved cowpea, we have to establish supporting facilities in which we carry out this test. And a lot of experiments were conducted. One of the facilities is the insect rearing laboratory, where we rear Maruka insect larva to deliberately infest these improved strains of cowpea, which we think are resistant. The only way you can confirm the genetic stability of any improved material is by subjecting it to the condition that will confirm to you that the gene is really working. So that is why we had to rear Maruka lava and then infest each and every plant of the cowpea that we have inserted this gene in with and then allow the Maruka to feed on it. The result is that because of the self-made resistance by this insect, the Maruka, the Maruka larvae do not survive on the cowpea and therefore are not able to inflict the injury that they would have done to a susceptible cowpea variety. The African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF, is coordinating a public-private partnership project that is developing the Morocco-resistant cowpea for use by smallholder farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. The project is developing and testing cowpea varieties with a genetic trait that would confer resistance to the pot borer and provide farmers with an alternative to costly and hazardous insecticide spray. We have uh, other partners who are helping us and uh, collaborating with AATF in working on this project. They include the IAR of Ahmed Bello University in Nigeria, uh, SARI, which is the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute in Ghana, and INERA in, uh, in Burkina Faso, as well as uh, CSIRO in Australia, who did the transformation of the of the trait, Maruka resistant trait, into cowpea uh, for the project, as well as the investor uh, USAID. We did a lot of being a cowpea farmer. I've been able to uh, maintain myself, paying the school fees for my children, buying day-to-day -day activities, buying a uh, uh, motorcycle to be mobile, to go about the farming. In, during the time of uh, the farming season, I engage labor. I, I pay my rent because I have not owned a personal building yet. And then I, I paid my, the store, office store, and my warehouse is there. Customers used to visit me there to ask, even some women who used to use it to fry uh, akara and then they're making a little out of it, they come to buy in tears. And some people come to buy in, in, in bags. I experienced a lot of problems of insects on my portion. And I used to spray so many times, about six to seven, eight times in the, within the season. And I spent a lot of money in doing so. so with all pleasure, I'll be very glad to have that because I've experienced even this season around this year. At the end of uh, late October, the, there are some um, um, maggots. They used to come and bore holes on the cowpea pods, destroying the seed inside, which I noticed. And thinking that I've almost uh, finished my spraying for the year, but I, I ran into that problem too. To start, at times I used to I wave them with uh, sticks and, uh, and so forth. At times I spray, and uh, that is an extra cost too. Farmers currently spray their fields four times on average before the harvest. However, Maruka infestation still remains a major challenge in cowpea production.